I asked Perry Desmond Davies to uh, end our program with a little bit of a uh, song in the absence of Camille Breeze today. And uh, uh, Perry has been back here, uh, has been here back in 2011 as a feature. You can see her on our website where all of our programs, or most of them, <laughs> are. Um, and uh, she also has her own website. She has two CDs, is that correct? Uh, all right. And uh, so happy she could be here today to share two of her original songs for us. With I, I wrote a little bit of Soul, Spunk, and Spitfire, as well as True Beauty. Please welcome Perry Desmond Davis. So for me, March is um, an interesting month. This year is the 30th anniversary of my father's passing. And he passed away at the age of 54, um, suddenly. And uh, it's hard to believe it's been 30 years now. But uh, one of the first songs that I wrote when I started doing the music thing about 16 years ago was a tribute song to him. And I'd like to share that with you. I remember when I was three I'd watch you in the bathroom mirror Mugging with your face full of rapid shade And then You'd pick me up and put me on your knee And brush my teeth for me Those were the first memories of you That I would say I just want to let you know that we're all on our own doing fine and dad why'd you have to leave so soon I'd sing my heart out if it could bring you back life for would never be the same Hey Dad Do you remember the day I gave you your grandson You were so scared when you first saw me all worn out from nature's work But then shining star those were the memories of you that he would save hey dad that boy you used to bounce upon your knee is fast approaching six foot three and handsome as a guy could be you have to leave so soon I'd sing my heart out if it could bring you back life for us would never be the same hey dad thanks for always being there for driver to college grad the best cheerleader that I ever had and then all at once my champion was gone I had to carry on but the memories of you helped me be strong Ooh.
shape my life in ways you'll never know and I wouldn't change a Thanks so much. You know, a lot of people our age can relate to that. So uh, for some people long ago, some people sooner. So um, it's never the same. So um, I get a lot of flack for those kind of songs. And um, Cheryl actually requested that I do <clears throat> a more upbeat song. In fact, <laughs> she asked me to do a happy song. <clears throat> So I just have one. <laughs> but it is the only happy folk song that I know. And if you know another one, I'd like to know about it. And uh, there's a place for all of you to help out with this one. So please go for it.
Here's your damn hobby. Hope you like your happy song. Skilly da doo da day. Thank you so much. All of us are immigrants in this state of grace. None of us inherit it. We all must find a place. Lifted up by mercy and held in love's embrace. All of us are immigrants in this state of grace. All of us are wanderers, strangers on this earth. Race and class and family are accidents of birth. That tell a bit about us, but don't tell what we're worth. All of us are wanderers, strangers on this earth. All of us are instruments, voices in this song. We do our best to play our parts. At times we get them wrong. Working out the harmonies, we strive to get along. All of us are instruments, voices in this song. All of us are shooting stars across an endless night. Each one burns a different course, a brilliant burst of light. We glow for just a little while, then trail off out of sight. All of us are shooting stars across an endless night. We glow for just a little while, then trail off out of sight. All of us are shooting stars across an endless night. All of us are shooting stars across an endless night. Thank you very much. I am a tree with roots both shallow and deep. Tap roots for the things of the body, water and nourishment from the deep places, and ground roots pushed up above the earth for seeking a taste of mottled sunlight sifted through a bright green cloak of leaves to feed my ancient soul. I have branches too and twigs, all held up by this sturdy trunk with its rough bark and bowls, its nests and holes. I house mosses and mice and fungi at my toes. Squirrels' nests, chirplings, beetles and ants, tent caterpillars, a downy woodpecker, a great horned owl, and the occasional hawk sitter in my hair. What a bountiful affair. My leaves are my glory and crown, winsome red buds appear in spring, waiting to unfurl into the vibrant yellows and greens of summer. Jewels of orange and gold and crimson burst the chilly covers of night to reveal themselves in autumn's early dew. Some fly away early, drained and dull, browning and crisping before falling at my feet as winter's hoary breath starts to freeze my sap the blood of my solid and hollow places. And if I am a tree friend, then you are the water and the food that sustain me. You are the soil that I procure and inhabit my solid place on the earth. You are the sun and the wind that brings joyful life to my leaves, blowing through them to revive me when my resolve to thrive begins to falter. Without your gifts, there is no tree. Without you, there is no me. It's time to collect, recollect, 
and come correct. I bet if I keep this thing up, something's got to give because I already gave what I like. It feels like my life. So in the midst of these dilemmas, I stay chill like simmer. Quick to the bull, but not getting pulled into it. So whose game is tighter? I'm still standing. I'm a fighter. See, I survived the phony pushing on me, overcoming insecurity. I will make you love me because, see, success is not an option. It's a being. It's time to collect, recollect, and come correct. Turn what's wrong into the opposite, the negative into the positive, making spiritual material deposits, uplifting the gift by using the fifth, freedom of speech, freedom to be me, freedom to pursue life abundantly. But pardon me, it seems as though abundance and abuse seem to have fused, leaving some confused. It takes two to make a thing go right in this inner city and suburban plight arise out of problematic distractions that can avoid dynamic contractions of a birthing of something new. Ideas, strategies, boom. Plan on being a part of it. Engage and embrace it. Like candy, you know you want to taste it. Success and notoriety, appreciation and accommodation, brushing off agitation of people hating. If you want it, you got it, but I'm telling you, you're gonna have to fight for it because it's time to collect, recollect, and come correct because our weapons aren't physical, they're biblical. Thank you. After all the rain, The sun is breaking through We turn and face again Uncertainty The clouds all drift away Opening a swath of blue Reflected in our eyes Possibility It had to come to this We knew the storm would pass one day The turning from a kiss Inevitability But in sunlight glowing in your hair the heart returns again possibility I tried to say goodbye the night we talked on the balcony began to rise and your eyes said please come back to me then clouds filled up the sky and I said well wait and see rain began to fall and we left it all in the hands of possibility So here we stand at last Storm clouds fading from our view But night is falling fast Inevitability to kind of distance
step away But knowing there's no other way And yet still holding on to Possibility 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the tree is squat and fanned, a perfect umbrella. The f that first summer, it held green, fuzzy thimbles until August. In September, they hung like lanterns, tight ovals, not much bigger than golf balls. Between worms, the, gr the grayish mold, and the squirrels, how do you gauge when to pick? Some years, there were hundreds, others, 10. Once, a raccoon tasted each hard green stone and pitched it to the ground. I have learned to pick early, just the hard side of yellow, wash and leave them to ripen indoors, monitor or lose the fruit to mold. I'm from a long line of gatherers. For a good harvest, I spend hours heating, peeling, pitting, and sucking the warm meat or off pits. I freeze the stores for when I will slave more hours over pies, over warm peaches. Igor Stravinsky and Václav Nijinsky, together, Paris, 29 May, 1913, the right of spring. Flat-footed pas de deux, dissonant strings, the shock, visceral and new, art and unart, mingling, at once antithetical and the same thing. Marking the centenary, we underscore an incontrovertible verity. We all will age. That which once was modern, once rebellious and wild, will, with time, most assuredly grow tame. Why do I feel it's over? Day follows day The darling buds peep The tussocky hillsides still betray The giants asleep When will their shadows darken? Radiant day each blade of grass gleams And luminous roses strew my way Faithless dreams Why do I mourn? Why should I weep? Why does this world so disturb my sleep? Waking, expecting thunder, dark, bright, sunlit clay. The stillness grows warm, and morning's bright icicles melt away. There'll be no storm. Should I? 
I weep? Why does this world so disturb my sleep? Waking, expecting thunder, bright sunlit clay, the stillness grows warm, and morning's bright icicles melt away. There'll be Running late, I take the wrong exit, and my grandson laughs. He hasn't yet learned how to panic. <laughs>